So you've paid attention to the headline, student loan forgiveness, listen, starting to heat up. We're seeing that conversation a lot more. We're also starting to see possible terms they will agree on within the government. And I'm definitely, I got my ear to the streets on that. But I started this series in terms of student loans versus sneaker resale pickups just to show, hey, the ability to do something is cool, but do you have the willpower to put yourself in a better position right now? And you can still enjoy those shoes later on. Still continuing that in a way, even though remember, I'm not putting that money towards loans right now because yeah, if they get forgiven, I could do so much more with that. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. everybody it's your girl tj back another video on talks with tj and so for this this month or i should say to close out may uh because i had some other things that i had to do you guys know i finished up the tattoo definitely had some pickups so we have 400 that was put aside towards loans in the event that payments actually kick back in after august 31st and there isn't forgiveness but the way it's looking they're looking it looks like they're coming to terms ten thousand dollars forgiven a federal student loan debt with income caps of one hundred and fifty thousand for single income three hundred thousand for a you know married household and i'm sure you're gonna see a lot of people either really excited or really outraged I'm not going to argue with your outrage. I'm just not like if you have your own platform, that's awesome. That's what social media is for. You can get all of your thoughts out there. I won't argue with you if you're outraged. I do find it funny that the president of Purdue University uh, wanted to come out and say, of course, he thinks this is a moral hazard and one of his ways in which this could all be rectified, you know, systematically, which we do need systematic reform. But his thought was, well, we need to lower the, the cost of colleges, which I 100 percent agree. So is Purdue going to lower the cost of attendance drastically for the next upcoming semesters for fall and spring? I doubt it. So you were just kind of saying something to say something. Are you going to take a pay cut? Are all the professors going to take a pay cut? Like it is a systematic thing. Quite honestly, a shock to the system needs to happen. More so of less kids going to college because so many of you don't even need to go to college based on what you want to study. That's just my personal opinion. And I have a master's degree and I still feel that way. But with student debt uh, on its, you know, forgiveness on the horizon, just kind of keep your ear to the street, stay in contact with your loan providers, pay attention to headlines and official releases from the government of that 10K. Now, if that's done for myself, listen, first off, I've made it very clear. I'm going to while out for like a month, treat myself to something. I don't know what yet, but I might while out for a month just because uh, first off, I cut my debt drastically over this past two years because I continue to make extensive payments on the principal because there was no interest over this time. So uh, I was not one of those people that didn't take advantage and the whole moral hazard of things and people concerned that doctors and lawyers will benefit from 10k being forgiven are you fully aware of how much doctors and lawyers take out to actually go into the professions they're in the 10k is maybe covering some interest for them that's it so if you're bitter about doctors and lawyers having 10k forgiven I think you're missing the mark there. That's not quite honestly who it's going to benefit. It will more so benefit those millennials that are looking to put themselves in better positions to either take care of their kids, buy a home, or just inject money into the economy. Or for one, just not be strapped and living paycheck to paycheck. Quite hopefully, I'm not even that person. Don't care about a home, not having kids. So this is just for me to put myself in a better financial situation to save, invest more, and also do some other things I would like to do. But in terms of sneakers, okay, so what could I purchase with that $400, at least kind of close to that amount? You guys know I like to keep it reasonable within, uh, within the dollar amount. So this shoe continues to still live rent-free in my mind. I know it's not the flashiest collab, but I still love it. Chateau Abe's uh, Sakai Vapor Waffle. The black and gum pair. Why? Because I really like even the, the subtlety of it, but it's still being something different that you don't see every day. Kind of like the LD waffle, the nylon black pair that I have. Yeah, I really like the vapor waffle in the black and gum pair. Now, of course, it's cheaper than the sale pair. The sale pair is just it's up there y'all it's up there 
but I really like the black and gum pair. So uh, instead of putting this $400 aside, and again, it's just sitting here, like nothing's happening with it. It's just kind of chilling out until we hear more. And I've done that with, I'll do that with June. I'll do that with July. I'll do that with August. And you guys know, I've mentioned before, like I have plans in terms of the, the vehicle I have now, pay that off, gift that to my mom, secure myself another newer used vehicle and just keep it moving towards other plans. So I could have picked up the vapor waffle did not but just again this is an exercise to show you can have the ability to do something but are you willing to uh make a decision that may lead to a better situation right now like financial stability is definitely something that is a little bit more important than a shoe not that i don't buy shoes for myself not that i don't buy clothes that i want for myself not that i don't plan to uh enjoy things with friends go to movies uh plan to go to a WNBA game here in june but you know hey trying to be responsible and trying to show you guys that responsibility. And it's a good way to also hold myself accountable if it's on camera with you guys, just truth be told. But yeah, go ahead and sound off below um, with the impending news. Have you already written out a plan of how you can maximize maybe that extra income you'll have if your student, your federal student loans are forgiven if you're within that $10,000 threshold? Just curious to know, you don't have to lay out your plan. You know, just let me know like, yes, I have, I have it in my mind got it down on paper or where, however you choose to jot it down and you're excited to kind of better your life and your financial stability thank you guys so much for tuning in as always act your age not your shoe size peace